I think we're taking care of the basketball at a really good clip compared to what we did last year and what we even did, you know, in non-conference or early into the conference season. That, to me, that's been the biggest difference. I think our defense has gotten a little better, but I think the fact that um, we're not turning the ball over as much and starting the other team's break, it makes our defense maybe look a little better than what it has been. But to me, that's that's been the biggest difference. You know, there's pressure on you for sure. Honestly, I think that's a good thing for this team right now because we've been playing with pressure for a month. Um, you know, we've been in win, and you're going to get into tournament situations for a while now. Yeah. Um, so I think we're, we're seasoned in that aspect. You know, back when the tournament was, was at our place a couple years ago, we were kind of the best team. We knew that, um, and it was kind of ours to take. So it'll be a little different going up there. Um, you know, we're, we're going up there with a chip on our shoulder for sure. Like, you know, hey, we're in this thing too. We were just trying to put it in their head that, that it's anybody's it's anybody's game up there. You know, we have as good a chance as anybody else to, to make a run at this thing and win a championship. And just trying to get them to embrace the opportunity, um, to realize that this, these opportunities don't come along every day and they need to take advantage of it. I think the team's chemistry gotten better um, and just playing together on the court. Just competing with each other. I know we get tired of um, battling each other every day, but we had to do it to win the games. You always say you want to peak in March, and that's exactly what we're doing. Um, so there's definitely a sense of excitement around here, like, hey, maybe, maybe we can take this thing the whole way, and that's definitely where our mindset is. You know, like when we're playing well, we are one of the best teams in this league, and we believe that. Um, so that's how we're going to go up there thinking. And we're just trying to keep it, you know, the status quo, trying to, trying to keep it in the same routine, uh, treat it like any other game. I think if you start as a coach, talking about how big this game can be or that game. Uh, you can have a tendency to get some certain guys on your team overwhelmed. Um, you know, with, the, with this being the first trip to the to the tournament for a, you know, not a majority of our guys, but a good part of our guys, I think we just got to try to treat it like any other game and, and, and focus and prepare like it's any other Big Sky game. Once pressure was put on this team to win and you got to make the tournament, you know, whatever, whatever changed in guys' heads at that Montana State game up in Bozeman, that was kind of the starting point when we started playing really well. Just the way that they haven't given in to adversity. I mean, the, the, con the early conference season was stacked against them with the first four on the road, starting off one and five. They could have tanked it. They could have, they could have handed it in, and they didn't. They chose to, to fight. They chose to come together. Um, and, and follow a game plan and try to execute at a high level, and it's paid off for them. Tate, I think, has really grown up. Um, last year, his performance was inconsistent. I don't think his numbers are a ton better, but in terms of a coach, coach's view about, hey, I can, no, I can count on Tate night in and night out, that has definitely risen a couple of notches, and um, that's the biggest compliment you can give a player, and I think the other coaches in the league saw that, and that's why he was voted All-Conference. He meant a lot. I mean, he's a pure shooter. He's he's funny off the court, on the court. Uh, he just, he motivates people, uh, like, if we had a bad practice. Derek's been an instant impact for us, which is why we went out and, and uh, tried to get him. Uh, we needed somebody to come in and, and fill some shoes and be an instant impact, and he has been on both ends of the floor. I don't think he gets enough credit for what he does for us on the defensive end. Um, he can guard anybody out on the floor, one through five, and, and uh, it's, a, it's a big asset for, for his coach to be able to game plan around that. Um, obviously, being the first guy to average a double-double, I think, in Big Sky playing the last eight years is eight or nine, whatever it is, is, is tremendous. I mean, it means a lot. You know, I've been working ever since I got here in May. That dude is such a stud. He, uh, he's he been carrying us all year on the boards, scoring. Um, he guards some of the best best post players in the league. So he's he's well deserving of a you know, first team selection. Um, super proud of him. We've got to do what we did the other night. You know, um, we didn't shoot the ball great from the outside, but we defended, held him to 41%. We rebounded. I think we were plus seven. We took care of the basketball. We had less than 10 turnovers. If we do those things, we have a chance.